what's up guys i am packing my stuff up to go upstate i do have to replace the floor in my hunting cabin because it rotted out but i'm going to do some 300 yard gel testing and i'm going to be doing the 308 today hopefully i can do some 65 also just don't know how much time i'm going to have so same stuff i tested at 100 yards we're going to see how this standard cupping core soft point does at 300. Alright guys, so Federal Power Shock from the 308, 300 yards. I was shooting from up there where my dad is sitting on his quad. You can see how far away 300 yards really is. Anyway, first shot hit on top of another wound channel, hard to see. Actually, it must have flipped the block because... Hold on one second. I believe I had the blocks like this. Hit on top of the 6.5 wound track and it exited out here. The second shot, unless I'm wrong, hit, oh, hit low, hit real low right here, gouged into the board and shit, and we captured the bullet, it's right here, halfway through that second block, so not perfect. And All right, guys, got these gel blocks home, so let's take a quick look at the box of ammo quick. Um, now these were coming in 50 feet per second slower when I chronographed them. So they were calling for 28, 20 at the muzzle. We were at 28 or 27.75. So at 300 yards, they should be doing 2,000 feet per second. So we would be about 1950 if all else is equal with a little under 1,300 foot-pounds of energy. So for a soft point bullet like this, this is the furthest. I'd probably try to push this. Um, but it appears that it worked just fine. Now the wound channels are hard to see. Um, I don't want to try to clear these lines up because there's some wood fragments on here that will sink into the gel, but two shots hit here. Now, one bullet did fly out of the gel here, so you can see it still had a decent wound channel. And the bullet that I caught is right here at 24 and a half inches. As you can see, definitely some uh, nice mushrooming there. So let's pull this bullet out and take a look at it. All right, guys, here is that captured bullet. Very nice uniform mushroom. So the weight is 140 grains, which is 93% weight retention. Just to be expected, the weight retention is going to get better the further out you reach. And we still got 0.556. If I count this little shard that's sticking way out, 0.58. A little bit of dust on my caliper there. And 5.9 this way, so just under 2x expansion. Oh, so if we get a little wider here, I can get that again. Uh, anyway, uh, great performance with this bullet for standard cup and core, cheap bullet. This thing is pretty awesome. Honestly, for 90% of people, this is all you need. All right, guys, so I try to keep my videos more shooting and gel test than talking, but I figured this would be a good time to talk about hunting ranges. Now, everyone's ethical range is different depending on how much you shoot, how much you practice. I would consider myself an above-average shooter. I am not a professional shooter by any means, but I shoot more than everybody that I know. Um, so I wanted to shoot this test. My 308 and my 6.5 were both shooting way off. Um, shot them at 100 yards. They were shooting great. Go to 300 yards, I'm like two, three feet to the right. I was able to compensate and hit the gel with the 308. With the 6.5, I was not, and I ran out of time. So it was making me think, like, this bullet, you know, this power shock, it worked great at 300 yards, and that's really the furthest that most people should be hunting. So there's no reason to go spend a bunch of money on Hornady or fancy long-range bullets if you could just buy a cheap soft point, and it's going to work good. Um, but the other thing is just testing your weapon systems. I know a lot of people that will go out once a year, take two shots before hunting season, oh, I'm good to go, and then they go out hunting. Well, if you're only hunting 100 yards or so, that's probably fine, but if you want to shoot three, 400 yards, you really need to shoot those distances, test your cold bore shot, 
I shoot more than once a year because I've had it before like this where my guns are zeroed. I'm good to go at 100 yards, but then I go to 300 yards and something's off. So was the gun dirty? Um, I rode the quad. I rode the guns out there on my quad. So did they get bumped around and the scopes are off? Like I don't know. Which is one reason why when I hunt long range, I hunt my 300 Win Mag, even though it's a target gun, because that gun I set my zero stop and everything up three or four years ago, and I've never touched it. The gun is always on point. Holdover is always the same, unless I'm reaching out far, which is another reason why I would never shoot past 500 yards. Because if you forget to compensate for wind drift or anything, you make a bad wind call. Um, you know, you're going to wound or miss your animal. So, you know, just this test alone makes me realize that I'm like everyone else. Like, shit can happen. Even if you practice and some of your guns are always on at a distance, it's not going to happen every time with every gun, which is a downside to also having a lot of guns because you really got to practice with one gun. Pick your hunting rifle, shoot all the time, find a load that shoots good, and just shoot that load and practice. Don't, you know, switch your shit up all the time, which I do. I'm guilty of it. I love testing bullets, so I'm always constantly shooting different things which is something else that can throw your gun off, like certain bullets, like solid copper monolithics, um, can be finicky when it comes to fouling. So if your gun's set up for that for hunting, but then you go and shoot a bunch of other cup and core bullets or other lead bullets, I mean, other monolithic bullets, because you want to you know, test those, and then you go back to your one bullet that you want to hunt with, it could be off. You might have to do a deep clean on your barrel to get things back to the way they were. So at the end of the day, just get out, practice, do your testing, multiple times a year don't shoot once a year um but anyway guys sorry for the little rant but i just kind of wanted to say that after having a frustrating weekend trying to shoot gel at 300 yards but as always guys please like and subscribe and thanks for watching